the Stiebel Eltron CK15E, which is the 120 volt uh, model. I bought it off of Amazon, I believe. <coughs> so I'm going to install it. There's two screws here. Take the cover off. You really have two options. You can uh, hardwire it, which is that's how it's uh, how it comes to be hardwired, or you could buy a uh, a wire with a plug on it from Home Depot, <coughs> and and then just plug it in an outlet that's nearby. For this application, we are going to hardwire That way it has a nice slope and the wires dangling all over the place. It does not come with these, so you don't want to buy them. That's, you know, a bag of those. Bathroom, which does not have heat currently. So instead of ripping out the floor and putting radiant heat in, I want to try one of these. It's not a very big bathroom. It, uh, you know, it's only five by eight feet. So I'm hoping that this unit will keep the temperature warm in here during the winter. But that's essentially, you know, for a uh, direct wire, that way you don't have any wires anywhere, and it mounts directly to the wall. And what's good about this model, from what I read, is that the air flows down, so towards the floor, and then of course heat rises, so it'll go back up. So, after looking at how I need to wire it, I'm going to have to put a wire through here and then have some slack to go into the box for a direct wire. So I'm gonna do that now. <clears throat> Let's cut the wire a little longer just in case. So right now I'm connecting the <clears throat> ground wire first, which is right back here. bracket on the wall. This here, as you can see, it has a little groove that will grab there. It's also Right there. There's also another little one <clears throat> for the bottom. Yes, buddy. What's up? Okay. 
diaper. Oh yeah, poopy yeah. diaper, okay. Sounds good. Okay. So now we need to put this third uh, screw in, and that's for the lower anchor. So I made a mark where the tab goes in. Screw. in the top anchor or wall bracket. I recommend uh, testing your outlet or your wires for power. So, power wire here. No power there. I recommend turning off your power before you hook these up. Uh, that way you avoid any electrical shock or injury or both. Usually they go hand in hand. Okay, I'm going to put some tape, make sure. Wires don't pop off. See, as you can see, I have my load, which is the hot, the black wire, the neutral, which is the white wire, and the ground, which is the bare copper wire. And that goes in to the heater. The ground is connected to the to the metal 
with the screw and then you have the black load going to load and the neutral going to neutral so now we're gonna mount Put the bottom bracket in. <clears throat> and I'll push my wires in. in well, all the wires are tight, I think there's going to be a little play, I mean, there's nothing you can do about that, we'll get the cover, I guess first there's a, uh, some sort of disclaimer here, It says this heating equi equipment must not be used in a room where there is any risk of explosion due to dust, gas, or combustion. <clears throat> Let's reinstall the cover and uh, so you do the top first and then slide the tabs into the screws and then tighten it goes there thank you how you doing buddy what's going on hi you're great i got this what you got oh nice got the screw cut. so Easy installation. <clears throat> uh, heat output. Small bathrooms, uh, some sort of small office or workroom. Uh, that's all it's going to be good for. Uh, they do have a two uh, two twenty volt model. Um, I'm not sure how much more the output is. Uh, I can't imagine it doing much more unless the the blower is uh, larger uh, and can push more hot air. So. The Steeple Eltron 120 volt, stick to very small spaces uh, or medium to small spaces without bolted ceilings. And uh, I think it's worth it. It's like hundred less than $170 shipped. Uh, I ordered it from Amazon. Alright, see you later. A uh, small update here. So initially, the reason I purchased it, part of the reason is that uh, visually it's a nicer looking model than the ones I've seen. It is a uh, wall mount versus, uh, uh, you know, inside the beams. So that's surface mount. Um, you know, they say on the website people reviewed saying that it's good because the vent sends air down, but it actually does not do that. 
the air comes directly straight out, the way these fins are. They're not pointing down, although it looks like it is. The heat just comes like this. So that's definitely sort of a negative for me because I was hoping it would heat the floor and that made sense, you know, pushing the hot air on the floor and then, uh, and then the hot air rising would heat, uh, you know, the rest of the space. I want food. You want food? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so, I'm gonna put that there. It's reading 64.3 degrees. 64.2. Okay, now, I'm gonna turn this on. Full blast. Let's see if it heats the room. I got some. Okay, come on. Come out of there. Okay, what time is it? It's 12.11. Uh, it's 12.39. 20 minutes. Sixty-three point nine. <clears throat> I'll give you an idea. At that level, it can't go anywhere. Got colder somehow. Looks like it's floating around 80 degrees right now after 20 minutes or so. Now I'm going to bring it back down here and see the temperature difference now that I have the fan on <clears throat> to see if it circulates the heat. So it will be the Steber Eltron with a ceiling fan in an 8x5 bathroom with vaulted ceilings. So it looks like the fan makes a big difference in terms of circulating the heat at this level which is two feet off the ground. Now I'm going to drop it down to the floor temperature down here. So as you can see, if you use a ceiling fan, especially in this bolted bathroom, that um, it makes a big difference. Circulating the, heat, the hot air from this unit um, you know, is a, is a big help. Without it, the floor is cold, <clears throat> two feet off the floor is cold, uh, so really only at five feet and up are you getting, you know, the majority of your uh, warmth. Uh, still, this is not winter time. In the house it's roughly 60 degrees, so it's really not that cold. Uh, so I'm curious to see how this does in the middle of winter. 